are designed to be able to do those things for you that you can't do on your own if you're in a rollover accident or if you're in a, a, an accident that puts you into water. These are the safety tools that most people just don't have. And the folks at General Tools came up with a brilliant idea. Uh, over the years here at QVC, I have, I have sold, oh good gosh, probably 25, 30 different versions of this type of tool. But most of them either reside in the center console or in the glove compartment. And quite frankly, neither of those places help you if you're in a rollover accident because your seatbelt restrains you in such a way where you can't get to the glove compartment and that open box when it's upside down means that whatever you stored in there is now somewhere else in the automobile. Right. How are you doing, my friend? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for coming back. This sure. is Sean Pickford. Sean. Sean's a tool guy like I am. Yes. What made this so innovative, because there are others out there, is the fact that this thing will strap to your seatbelt. Right. And then, quite frankly, you forget it's there, and hopefully you never need it, but if you do, it's there and you can reach it. That's the great thing about this. It straps to the seatbelt. So as long as you have your seatbelt on or around, across your lap, whatever it might yep. be, this is going to be in reach. If you close your eyes, you can get to it. So it's not like you said in the glove box where you, once that seat locks in, right. and usually when in, in an accident like that, your seat locks you into place, that's what it's supposed to do. You're not reaching the glove box. You think you put it in the center console, well, all that stuff got jumbled up. You can't right. find it when you need it. This yeah. is always there when you need it. Just, just like you're seeing here, it latches onto the seat Seat belt and stays there. So but at any given time, you can open it right. and get to it. And the second you open it, that light automatically comes on. Yes. Uh, it also includes some other things that, that should be in an automobile. Uh, seat belts which restrain you, once your car has come to a complete stop, oftentimes those seat belts still keep you within the car. Yeah, they harness you and, in there. And you want to get out quickly. I don't know a human being that is strong enough no. to tear a seatbelt. No, you can't tear it. You're not going to bite through it with your teeth. So you need something really sharp. So we have that built-in razor blade that you're seeing right there. But now, I can't get yeah. my fingers in there. Yeah. So it's nice and protected, even though it's there. So that will cut your seatbelt. Even if you're the strongest guy on the planet, you're not tearing the seatbelt. That's right. the way they are designed. The tensile strength on them is just unbelievable. So in order to be able to free yourself from the seatbelt, right. all you simply do, as Dan said, you're just going to open it up. When you open it up, that light goes on. You'll see the razor blade in the bottom. They're all built the same. So that razor blade now allows you to get, go ahead and grab a hold of the seat belt and then basically just take it. And which, which, by the way, that didn't take much at all. I cut through that like it was butter, yeah. okay? And if I, you and I tried to tear on that or pull on it, it doesn't matter. We it's can do not it for going, days. So uh, I've got, they come in a set of three. And I like that. That way, your car, your spouse's car, maybe uh, one of the children in your family, or all of the children have one. Yes. Valentine's Day is coming up. Isn't it interesting how the holidays are, are spaced perfectly apart for shopping? Isn't that okay? After Valentine's Day, we'll get you. We'll get you for, for St. Patty's Day, right? <laughs> We've got three in gray, three in taupe, or three in the black. So just kind of think of the color of the seatbelt that you have. Yeah, in your and automobile. Maybe and you're matching the seat belts in the car. Maybe you wanted the contrast to stand out. I actually yeah, matched true. them in the cars that we have. So we have four different cars. We have four different ones in there. So they're all on there. It's peace of mind for me that know that every car I get into, I, agree. I have one of these. And maybe it's not for you. Maybe you come upon an accident where someone hits something. They can't get out. So they're trapped in the car. You can break the windshield. We'll show you that in a minute. But you can also cut the seatbelt and help someone else out. All right. There's another part of this that is really interesting. And that is tucked away under these, this little dome. Yep. And when you open this up, and the, the latch is right there, that is a tungsten steel point. It's not even sharp. No. But it's there for a reason. Okay, in movies and television, you see people punching a, a windshield or punching a window to get in or out of a car. It doesn't work that way. Tempered glass is amazingly strong. Best glass ever made. If you're in an accident where there is water involved and the car is submerged, the pressure of the water will not allow you to lower a window. No. It just, it doesn't work. So here's what you have to do, and very few people 
have have the fortitude to do it. Yeah, I mean, I could punch this all day long, even with the ring on my finger there. Right. And I could try and kick at it, whatever I'm going to do. And as you said, it's tempered glass. I'm not going to be able to make this move. If you're in, a, in an accident, until the water has completely filled the car. It has to pressurize. Yep, that, that's when you could get a door open, right. but few people have the fortitude to wait for that to happen. So if you want to get out of a car quickly, you open it up in that little tiny nib. Watch what happens. Yeah, we'll count it down. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. You might have to hit it a second time, but no big deal. Yep. Now it's you're that out. easy. So that's all you got to do. Who's a, a little snap of the wrist? Whose car window uh, is that that you? <laughs> we actually buy brand new glass. Yeah. So this is modern glass that comes in any car that you could find on a showroom lot. So it's not something special. It's not something really old and brittle. So and you can see. I, I'm impressed. One and, whack. You're out. And you get and you get a set of three for under 20 bucks. Uh, even this is on easy pay. So I've got three payments of six dollars and 66 cents. Uh, I hope you never need it. Well, and that's it. We hope you never need it, but maybe it's just to find your keys. Now you have a built-in flashlight. Right, right. So it's one of those things where we hope you never need it, but in case you're due, you're glad you have it. I mean, let's face it. All it takes is an instant and things can change. Uh, uh, in, in, in an automobile situation, every second counts. It really does. Dude, it's a great idea. Good to Plus, see I, I love the tool company. General Tools. Yeah, they are for a great company years. to do it. We've got three in black, three in the taupe, or three in the gray. Uh, pick them up, please. All right, I was talking about this earlier. This is such a good idea. It really is. Uh,